Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Today I have something quite uh, new and interesting. It's a homemade racket from Michael Gordon. If you follow Tennis Nerd, you've seen the Frankenstein racket I've talked about, which is like a head TSI-6 uh, that he then started drilling more holes into. And this racket, which is kind of like its own unique prototype as far as I understand, it looks like a frying pan, but plays a lot better than a frying pan, I must say. And it has a 2021 string pattern, 115 square inch head, quite a thin 21 millimeter beam. Weight is around 330 grams strung, it's the swing weight around 320. I haven't added any customization to it, this was already there uh, with the 320 swing weight. So um, I've been playing with this, been testing it with Juan, and it's a really fun racket. It's like, uh, it looks really odd. Uh, but it plays with a lot more control than you might think. It, it really plays with a kind of a lower trajectory thanks to all the strings in here. I don't know how many strings, how much string it takes to string this, because I haven't strung it, Michael strung it for me, with Hyper G 125 at around 23, 24 kilos. So um, this racket is kind of fascinating in that sense that it's like homemade and it actually plays much better than, than I think in before I, I tried it. And you can play kind of any style of tennis, the only area I really struggled was maybe at the net where the, the head shape feels a little bit odd and you're not exactly sure where the ball is going. But overall, when you're playing touch shots, when you're playing a bit more aggressively from the baseline, this racket actually gives you more control than you'd think for a 115 square inch racket. I would say it's the, the most uh, controlled oversized racket I've ever played with. So uh, kudos to Michael for coming up with this racket. It's, it's, um, it's an interesting one, it's a good one. Maybe it's something we'll see. I don't know the benefits of such a head shape or head size if you have this uh, dense string pattern because it's not that easy to use, it's quite controlled, Juan told me the same, it's like it really goes relatively low over the net, so you're not going to get that maximum forgiveness, but you get some more forgiveness, obviously more like I know Gravity Pro on steroids, kind of that where like the, you have a massive sweet spot, but you can't really predict exactly where the ball is going if you're hitting it outside the center area, but obviously the center area is quite generous here. So a uh, very fun racket. I wonder how, what would happen if you had a thicker beam or higher stiffness and uh, maybe a more open pattern would be completely erratic, more difficult to control. But for me, like who like a more flatter trajectory, who like to play with control, this racket actually uh, was, was fun to use. It wasn't completely unwieldy. Obviously the maneuverability is a bit different with this type of head shape. Uh, but uh, it played well pretty much from all areas. The serve, I struggled a little bit to get it through the air. Maybe it's the head shape, maybe it's more of time getting used to it. But uh, it shows that you can have some kind of crazy inventions and you can really make an interesting product for the market. So um, thumbs up from me. I really enjoyed playing with this racket. I'm gonna have to send it back now to Michael. Um, but maybe we see uh, a Kickstarter or something where we see a few of these getting made and I get more opinions how they play because right now I think it's only Michael who owns these. But um, they're definitely fun rackets and something I would be keen to keep testing because they, they do play with some control, which is always something I look for. And, and the feeling on impact is actually nicer than I thought before. It actually has that kind of 21 millimeter more plush feel. The stiffness is not high, it's like 65 strong. And so it's actually very controllable in that sense and you can get some nice touch shots. Uh, so, yeah, that's a, it's a fun racket. It's a Frankenstein, I call it a Frankenstein. Not sure what to call it, the frying pan maybe but it's, it's, it's a fun stick. That's all for now. If you need help with rackets, check out tennisner.net where there is like a course, recommendations, consultations, and all things tennis rackets, strings, and gear. Have a nice day and don't forget to play sometimes.